Hey, so one of the things that I don't think many people know, you know, that don't see inside the shop as much, um, even a lot of our long-term customers out there watching this video will realize some of the things that we do to kind of contribute and engage uh, Holland Shades Auto Service in the community. Um, that starts with training and education. Um, we have a lot of high schools. The Baltimore County Public School System has a really good STEM outreach, um, career and occupational training um, departments and things like that that get uh, kids out of the high school, um, senior year and get them into shops or other businesses, hospitality, um, you know, beauty supply places, even some of your chain stores. Um, it gets them out and lets them uh, kind of see what's over, over the horizon, give them some ideas of what they might want to, you know, pursue in college or, you know, should they choose to pursue a trade, um, you know, something like Holland Shades Auto Service, you know, they can get that hands-on experience too before um, they get too far down that uh, learning process. Um, with that said, one of the, um, you know, we're, we're now on our third intern um, out of Lock Raven High School, all three. Um, and it's my privilege to introduce everybody watching out there to our newest, by way of Kansas, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Hi. So I mentioned Kansas, so explain, uh, so it's a long, long way. So you kind of transferred into Lock Raven High School your junior year? Yep. I got at the last, uh, last Two months of my junior year, I came out here in Maryland. Okay. Um, one of the neat ones that I've enjoyed talking to you about was you were in a trade program out in Kansas, a, a STEM or high school trade program. So it, explain a little bit of that. You know, what... um, The trade program out there, it was neat. It was a cool experience because I was able to go for my junior year. So I went to my tech college in the morning, and then I came back to high school to finish up my main core classes. So we, one thing we've talked about, the difference is, you know, Kansas versus Maryland or, you know, the East Coast, um, that was mostly agriculture oriented, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, a little different here. I mean, we've, we've gotten you over to see the community college program and all that. And, you know, you can, as you experienced, it's a, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, you don't have as much, like, bigger equipment you work on. This vehicle here is a lot cleaner, easier to work on, really. Yeah, they're not out in the middle of a cornfield, right, in the sun. Um, so, you know, we don't have air conditioning in the shop here, but, uh, you know, we're not out in the beating uh, hot farm field in uh, Kansas or wherever else. Phil, uh, Phil, you know, he knew the American bread basket better than any of us. Uh, mainly Kansas, just working in the fields, cornfield. There's sometimes I'd go out of state to work and basically all the same stuff. So... Flash forward to a trade school out in Kansas, and, and then you, you know, you kind of you moved here. So you've been here a year and a half. You've also been coming here for the better part of now almost six months. Um, your your impressions with uh, with Holland Shades what are, compared to some of the shops or the other types of shops that you've been in. This isn't your first one. No, um, I like this place. The people here are very very helpful. You got like an issue with a car, you can't remember what you're doing. You just ask somebody, and they, they're always willing to help. There's other shops that I've been to where you can ask somebody, but if they're not in a good mood, they're not going to help. Okay. Um, you know, we've kind of walked you through like a development process. Very, um, you know, one of the things is auto repair, like any trade degree, it takes a lot of hands on experience to, to be effective and or independent and to work safely. So um, one of the things is, you know, it takes time even for an organization like Holland Shades to, you know, there's no such thing as perfecting it because it's constantly an evolving process as things change. But um, we take pride in the step-by-step -step process that we can get somebody like Tyler Young with limited hands-on experience, although you came with much more than, than average. Um, it's, it's something that we take pride in, that our ability to kind of work them up to speed because it goes both ways. If we, if we throw them in the deep end and they, they weren't prepared for what we were putting in front of them, it would leave a negative experience and then maybe not, you know, foster their development in, in this industry, which, you know, they kind of come to us saying that this is what they want to pursue. So we, we, we want to, you know, respect that. And uh, the other side is, you know, kind of making sure that you get the foundation, that you feel confident that you're doing things safely. Um, do you feel that that was, you know, do you feel that there was a kind of a process to the way that you were, got up, you were brought up to speed here at Holland Street? Yeah, it took a little bit. I had to learn a couple of things on the uh, speed here because it's just a lot more fast paced than what I'm used to. But after a month or two, I got used to it. And it was pretty smooth flowing from there. I realize as we're doing this on camera here, we're, we're repping the Lebo, Lebo, Kansas.
Kansas, guys. Leave it, look it up on a map. What's the population in Lebo, Kansas? Uh, I think it's like a little bit under 900 people. A long, we're a long way from Kansas, right? <laughs> um, all right, so to close, anything, um, any, I, I guess one more to close on is, we, we talked about the, being in Kansas and in the trade school, it was oriented around agriculture, so yep. the schedule was different. I know that's one thing that I wanted to kind of get on camera with some of the people uh, watching. Um, explain that, that during harvest season, you know, the schedule changed to accommodate. Yeah, um, at my school, yeah, 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 there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of farmers at my school. So during, like, if we have a big harvest week or, or we're behind on harvesting, cutting, they let kids that actually work on a farm, they release them early from school or they don't have to go to school at all. So that kind of helps. It, just, it understands the local economy. Every, everyone's different. So, I mean, you know, not to get too much off topic, but, you know, education is geographically specific as much as it is curriculum specific. So I, it was one takeaway that I, you know, we work really hard with um, the next step after, for somebody like Tyler, after completing the internship process and graduating high school, the next step would be kind of in a, in a dual role Trade, trade education, something like CCBC or Montgomery College, um, complemented with on on the job daily experience. So that schedule is tough to manage, but you know, the, well, it's true. We're not doing agriculture, but it's important that you know the next step of the uh, journeyman or, or whatever you want to call it, um, the pursuit to journeyman status, would be um, to make sure that you know, kind of they're splitting their time between a classroom as well as uh, hands-on, like in an environment, in a shop, something like this. So uh, you've, you've seen that. Yep. It's, pretty, it's really good. All right, well, guys, thank you for watching to this point. Um, Tyler, here, signing off. Say Appreciate it. it. Happy 2020.